As Russian President Vladimir Putin and Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko speak about bringing their countries closer together, they're both increasingly isolated, cut off by sanctions and soured relations. Poland declared a state of emergency near its border with Belarus after seeing a surge of migrants. The government contends Belarus is pushing them over. The emergency order is also in place because of this a massive military exercise being staged in Russia and Belarus over the next week. Purely peaceful, Putin insists. NATO isn't so sure. Russia uh, should behave in a predictable and transparent way. Uh, we are closely monitoring a SAPAD exercise. This drill is held every four years, but it's now taking place amid rising tensions. This year, uh, exercise is is more secret than it was four years ago, and and I think it it reflects the state of uh, West to Russia relationship, which this defense analyst says hasn't been so bad since the Cold War. Experts say Russia has long been pushing for a deeper military foothold in Belarus, which it sees as a security buffer between Europe and NATO. Belarus has always resisted, but the dynamics have changed. Last year, hundreds of thousands took to the street to protest Lukashenko's re-election. In the violent crackdown that followed, many were jailed or forced to flee. All of it has essentially torched the country's relationship with the West, making it even more reliant on Russia. Pavel Lutushko was once a minister in Lukashenko's government. He's now in exile in Poland. Russia is using this situation to its advantage, he says. Adding that he fears there could be new military bases across Belarus. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Moscow.